Have you ever pondered how a simple shift in perspective can alter the entire meaning of a story? Framing, the art of presenting information in a certain light, holds this power. And while it can serve as an effective tool for communication, it's not always used with pure intentions. Take a dive into the world of politics, where framing often plays a vital role. Recall the case of the death tax in the United States during the early 2000s. This term, coined by Republican politicians, was used to refer to the federal estate tax, a tax applied to the transfer of a deceased person's estate. By framing it as a death tax, they were able to create a negative perception of this policy leading many to believe it was a tax on death itself rather than on the wealth transferred after death. Another example can be seen in media where framing can significantly influence public opinion. Consider the infamous case of the Central Park Five in the late 1980s. Five young men of color were wrongfully accused of assaulting a woman in Central Park, New York City. The media, rather than focusing on the facts of the case, framed these individuals as guilty from the outset. This framing had a profound impact on public opinion, leading to a rush to judgment and ultimately their wrongful conviction. These examples illustrate the power of framing and its potential to distort the truth. They underscore the importance of staying vigilant and critical of the information we consume. It's not enough to accept information at face value. We must question, analyze and seek out multiple perspectives to form our own informed opinions. Framing becomes especially dangerous when it employs suggestive language and omission of information. Certain words and phrases can evoke strong emotions and promote a biased perspective. Similarly, the deliberate omission of facts can skew perception and lead to misinformation. As consumers of information, we need to develop media literacy, the ability to critically analyze and understand media content. We need to recognize the techniques of framing and understand their impact. Certain factors, like our own biases and experiences, can make us more susceptible to the misuse of framing. By being aware of these factors, we can better guard against manipulation. Remember, the power of framing lies not just in the hands of those who use it, but also in those who consume it. By learning to recognize and understand framing techniques, we can effectively combat the misuse of this strategy. Share your thoughts on this topic in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more critical discussions. Until next time, stay curious and stay critical.